What's up, everybody? It's Alan from Breaking and Entering. We are backstage at the Generac Power Stage. We are here with Mark and Sean from Avenues. You guys just played. You guys crushed it today. How does it feel to get up and finally get to go play a show again and have it be here at some of this? Good. It feels amazing. It really feels good. Uh, you know, taking a year hiatus and coming back to do a hometown show like this, it really means a lot. Yeah. Uh, you guys also got the chance to test out some new material. Uh, announced that there's a record coming. Does it feel good to get your music out there and be able to play some of the new stuff? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, like it's a relief. We've been hiding this music for over two years, three years at this point. Yeah. Trying to keep it in the back pocket. And finally be playing it out feels really refreshing. Yeah. Uh, we're super stoked that the CD is, well, I should say, helped to come out. Uh, hopefully no more delays. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. There were some setbacks and things like that. Uh, some things that got in the way. Does that, how did that affect the process for you guys? Were you able to write more while there was, while you guys had some setbacks? Yeah, with, with the setbacks came more time, and with more time we realized that like we wanted to have the record to be as, as fresh as possible, not only with us, but also with the times and everything going on. So uh, we really took advantage of, of all the delays, all the setbacks, you know, whether it was COVID or, uh, you know, my health shit or anything like that, we definitely took, the, took advantage of it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, also, glad to see everybody is in good condition and back, back playing, back at it. He's alive! <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, recording the album. Were you guys recording it before everything happened, or did it not get to be recorded until after the fact? Well, we did two versions of the recording. So, uh, before like, shit hit the fan with Mark, uh, we were down in Atlas. We recorded the album as we saw fit at that time. Uh, unfortunately, Atlas closed. Mark got very ill, and then we decided to scrap it at that point, so we wrote more songs. So we were with Kevin Arns uh, over at the Exchange Recording Studio. Uh, he hooked it up, he put the time in, he got everything right. I am so proud of this album. I'm so excited for everything you guys. I think the timing is perfect. Absolutely. And then what does the rest of the year look like after this album comes out? Is there anything else? Is there a tour? Is there anything that well, works? Obviously, we would love to tour. We would love to go out and play as much as we can. But also, at the same time, we want to be as smart about it as possible. We want to do our due diligence of when is the best time to play, how to play, where to play. You know, um, it sucks that there is this thing going on in the world right now. I mean, it's, it's tough for everybody. Yeah. Um, but we want to just make sure that we do it uh, the best way and the you know, yeah. smartest way, the safest way yeah. possible. So that's our biggest concern, honestly. But, I mean, of course, you know, the record's going to come out. We do plan on doing uh, a, a, a bit of shows, a bit of playing, a yeah. bit of touring. So we'll see when that comes. You know, we're, we're trying to take it definitely day by day. Yeah. Uh, if you did not see their set, there was a highlight in there. There was a Blue Oyster Cult uh, cover of Godzilla, complete with a Godzilla outfit yeah. on stage. So whose idea? Whose idea was it? So that's been going on for a while, or I should say, it's it has occurred. It's our shtick. It's a shtick that does happen. It doesn't happen all the time. Okay. But it has happened. And it does happen every once in a while, and uh, especially for like the shows when we feel like could benefit. Godzilla will, will make an appearance and they watch out when it comes for you. Yes, absolutely. Um, well, if you do get the chance to see Avenues Live, make sure you go do that. The record's coming out, too. Uh, all sorts of important things. If they want to stay in touch with you guys, they want to connect with you on social media, where do they go find you? Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, at Avenues Rocks. Avenues Rocks on Instagram. On Instagram. Uh, Avenues MKE on Facebook. We're on iTunes, Spotify, anywhere that... Just Google Avenues Milwaukee, you'll find us. You'll definitely find us, and uh, we're also on it quite often and, and very easy to approach. So if like anybody has any questions about anything, hit us up anytime. We're definitely here to help out, hang out with anyone that's you know willing to hang out with us. So you know, there you go. Have fun. There you go. Make sure you check out Avenues. Keep it locked to Breaking and Entering. We'll have more coverage of Summerfest 2021 as well as the rest of Milwaukee's music scene. Thank you guys so much.